All right, now I did a video recently talking about the Macarius project, and uh, we look at the success story behind the Macarius project. But this time around, we'll be looking, looking at something more controversial. Uh, uh, why has Isimi Lagos got stuck? Uh, Isimi Lagos was brought into the market maybe around um, 2020, if I'm correct, uh, and that's like uh, four years into the market already. Um, the vision is 2030, definitely uh, six years to go. But so far, so good. Uh, we are tired of expectations that we have about the project. That um, till for now, let me see for now, because it's not like maybe um, Landu is not doing something about the project. They are doing a lot of things about the project, but but they're not seeing it yet. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they're not doing anything. They're not putting effort into it. But uh, why do we? Why do I feel? that um the project got stuck and what are the reasons behind it um that i feel like the project got stuck and why am i talking about isimili goals i have a lot of audience a lot of people here that bought isimili goals that invested there that believe in the project uh which is fantastic a fantastic project to be to be very frank and um um and i have a lot of aspiring developers um uh, even developers i have a lot of existing developers that also come to my channel and watch my videos also and it's for our own good for us to talk about um, what's working, um, what are the models that are working, and uh, what are the models that you feel like um, so far so good, some people have tried and it's not working. Uh, so that people are not going to continue like um, doing these models and like um, getting stuck or like or like um, getting their investors discouraged. All right, so that's really the essence why we are looking at um, or reviewing this project. All right, so uh, it's similarly is a fantastic project, but into the market, it's revolution. It's like um, revolutionized how real estate projects are being done, and the promotions were fantastic. Um, the designs on the layout, the 3Ds were fantastic. Um, the vision was fantastic. You know. It was similarly goals that started um, the entire mantra about green living. You know, a lot of estate now that you see it on their flyer on their book, your green living, green living. It was like similarly goals that started that. It was similarly goals that started um, the idea of like um, a 3D model, like the 3D model of what the entire estate is going to look like. It was similarly goals that started that. You know, it was similarly goals that started um, the idea of clusters. You know, the start idea of clusters. So every a lot of things that. The, the idea of resorts, you know, you go to you see a, a lot of estates right now, Ibadan, uh, Ekbe, that are all coming up. Uh, resorts, 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 resorts. It was like it's similar because I first offered that that green, green tech, green living, resorts, um, clusters, um, a place for all ages, you know, and um, a marina, and just quite a lot of things that they they, they came up with there. So they they changed the entire market. And um, a lot of the effects of that is still felt till now. And um, so the, the, the fact that Landry was able to um, envision that project and um, bring it to the markets, um, that's already revolutionary, really. So that, that's already like a big work. And also that's already um, like extremely daring for them because prior to the same, there was nothing like as that big and as that bold that came into the market, really. All right, so so for that they, they did fantastic work, fantastic job for that. The promotions, um, the visions, the idea, like it was, it was highly a disruption. It, it, was, it was a big disruption. But four years um, into the entire vision, and um, four years into like um, the promotions, the green living, the um, helipad, the marina, um, the waterfronts, the lakes. And every other thing that was promised there, um, so far so good. Um, I feel, in my opinion, which is like subject to um, um, disagreements, I feel that they are stuck. And um, um, in my opinion, also in my perspective, also I feel like um, that that project is going slower than it's supposed to be. Uh, definitely, it's not their fault, really, because if you are doing that kind of thing in nigeria you know compared to what the exchange rate was in 2020 compared to now the inflation in 2020 compared to now and i feel like land made a lot of mistake um regarding regarding that regarding um 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 bring that project to life and um what what um they were trying to do there um i feel in my way um that that project that when they had all the vision and everything they could have launched it they could have promoted it but uh that project should have only been in market for like a very very short period of time and language should have focused more on 
marketing and financing um, that is outside subscribers' money, basically. Uh, because um, it was like since 2021 that they have announced that it's like 2030. And I can remember that 2021 when I was doing a review of this investment with one of my um, clients, I was telling him that um, 2030 is like um, a very, very long time in Nigeria. And compared, like, in comparison to how extremely volatile Nigeria can be, um, how extremely volatile our economy, uh, our political environment, and a lot of other things can be in Nigeria, um, um, like, giving clients that timeline to me, um, to me, I, I have a lot of reservation. And to be very frank, a lot of my reservation like, um, came true um, about it. And um, I, I feel like they are doing a lot behind the scene. Uh, that we are not seeing, I, I concur. Um, there are a lot of work that is going on around the waterfront, a lot of work that is going on in between there. But I feel that work should have been um, much more faster right now if um, their model had been a bit different. Uh, if you look at, um, if you watch the video, I talked about Macarius and the sources of Macarius. I talk about the fact that Macarius', Macarius land was bought um, for 20 years, even before they launched that project. So that 20 years, um, afforded uh, Pastor Hashimolowo um, everything, everything they needed, the funding, perfecting the vision, perfecting the model, perfecting the documents, perfecting the approvals, the permits, you know, um, raising enough capital to be able to like um, push that point and also ensuring that that location is already ready for what they are bringing to it, for what, whatever they are bringing down to that place um, to match the amount they want to, they want to sell it. Um, in every time that... Um, that Isimi have been selling at whatever price that they have been they have been putting on it, it's already obvious that that part of a pair is already not ready for that amount yet. Like the caliber of that project yet, even down to date. Because um for a lot of us to like um have a hundred million naira or a hundred and fifty million naira um one plot in a pair, definitely um for it to really make a lot of sense, the airport has to work. That's what it's good. The airport has to be there or like a lot of workers to be on the airport um really and will the airport be there by 2030 i don't know i'm not sure would have this would i have started work on the airport by 2030 i don't know I, i'm not sure and uh, one thing i always tell people and i always do in my life is um i focus on what i can control and whatever i, I can't control i don't use it as, a, as a parameter for whatever i want to do you know i can't control when the, when the government are going to do the airport really but i can control me selling that project right now or me launching that project right now or me deciding that okay let's have this project here let's um have a private equity funding for this project talk to a couple of investors about what we want to do there and we don't collect a dime from subscribers you know pending when we have this project ready or this location ready uh for what we want to start charging our subscribers really so um like I said, a lot of um, companies, a lot of developers are like um, coming to the markets with different models. Um, so Landway has their own model, uh, Macarius has their own model, Xylos have their own model, um, Veritas has their own model, and every company has their own model of raising fund, um, their own model of delivery, and, and so on and so forth like that. So um, and you know, in, in, in business, whatever works works. That does it. So is what doesn't work that you st we start to criticize. Um, so um, let's let's see how it goes with the same definitely. But I feel the model um, land we have been running that project with so far so good. I feel that they, they, they could they could have just done far more th than that. And um, I'm predicting I'm predicting there will be a lot of discouragement from investors and a lot of the people that subscribe to that place in the end eventually because um, the main fund. And the main capital that's going to deliver that project to whatever the standard um land we wants it to be definitely will not come from the people that bought that place at 30 million i will not come from the, from the people that bought that place at 50 million and with the look of things will not also come from the people that bought that place at 100 million so that means at some point the company just have to decide that okay these people that bought at 30 million what can i what, what, what can we give to them what can we deliver to them which will definitely be lesser than whatever the expectations that a lot of people have. I just hope my prediction is, is, 
is wrong anyway but that's that just that's just my assumption and um it is what it is just let's see how it goes uh 2030 is still like six years to go so we still have six years for them to prove me wrong prove a lot of us wrong also and um and investment is investment really um so you, you definitely are not going to get it right every time there's some investment i've done personally that i didn't get it right and i won't really say categorically that assuming lagos is a wrong investment or a bad investment for anybody right now um landway is, is still existing Landway is still a fantastic company i look at the assets portfolio in landway um in 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 in, in under landway i feel like they can still deliver that project 100 percent. i still believe they can still deliver that project but if they deliver it will they be up to your expectation i can't say and if they deliver it will you be getting within that that particular area that they deliver that's also another thing so it is what it is so that just that's just my own my own review about about the projects po, po, uh, possibly um inshallah by next year i'm also going to be doing a review of the project again um looking at what has changed between 2024 you see me and 2025 you see me and then maybe likely we can do that for every year down to 2030 like i said i totally totally hope and um believe that land can deliver it but i just have my uh my predictions which is like what i always do because investment is all about it's all about predictions you look at the the graph look at the curve and then you look at it that okay can this happen can this not happen and so on and if i have some capital can i invest in simi yes 100 percent but definitely i'm not going to be investing in simi at, at 100 million per plot no no so i just believe that there are a lot of people that have invested there at 30 million per plot i want to sell their plot and <laughs> i can just give them some some box and they're going to like be willing to to sell so it is what it is anyway a lot of this estate a lot of this estate that you are seeing lago funds it's no residential it's no city that a lot of people that have bought these estates got allocated and they are discouraged if you give them some amounts they will sell the plot for you because i'm not willing to wait and me i can raise some investor equity and then just invest there and then just tell my investors leave it for 10 years and let's see what 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 it does but I, i'm just going to make sure that i'm investing at below the market anyway all right so um so that's 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 it and this is also one of the things that we are doing because we want to make investing um more more possible and so that you, you don't have to raise 50 million before you can invest you don't have to raise 100 million before you can invest or with 5 million 3 million 10 million you can still invest in something very good locations very good projects and that's why we are, we are developing a prop tech and uh we can we can discuss about that because we are raising we are raising equity we are doing quite a lot of equity funding for that for our prop, prop tech i can tell you our market targets our traction um the market size that we are we are chasing and also the like um the kind of fund and capital that we are trying to raise for that uh we can, we can definitely discuss discuss about that all right so um feel free my comment is open don't attack me if you attack me i, I won't i'll reply your comment i'll just tell you okay that's all but if your comment is definitely like um constructive we are going to discuss and we can share ideas about that so i still remain your property on the planet your property advisor consultant rabbi mustafa thanks for watching our video and see you next time